Hi, this is Dr. Bernard Beldholm and I'm here for Lawn again. Um, to, today we're going to have a look at the technique number one for the head scalp tummy tuck, which is um, which is the Vaser liposculpture. Now, I, I have done liposuction for a long time. Um, when I started, I um, I was doing standard liposuction with all my tummy tucks and uh, I, I think I mentioned this is one of the other lives that um, about I think about 10 years ago I changed over to doing the lipo abdominoplasty from the standard uh, tummy tuck and um, results were really amazing at that stage. Now probably about four years ago I started using the Vaser uh, liposculpture um, technique and that is been even better. So I'll go through in this one uh, why we need to do the sculpting, the fat, uh, removing the fat, how we do that as part of the tummy tuck and also um, why I like the Vaser uh, machine as a method of um, removing um, fat. So um, let's have a look. So the first thing um, so we're talking about these steps in the um, in the liposculpture technique, uh, liposuction and uh, assisted uh, tummy tuck uh, yesterday, um, and I think one of the huge benefits of the liposuction is that you're not restricted in how much you're able to do when it comes to liposuction or liposculpture. You can do quite extensive liposuction. You can do scoring. You can really shape the abdomen and um, I know that a lot of clients that come and see me the main concerns are um, you know functional things like they're getting rashes the discomfort from the uh, from the skin the um, the um, uh, you know they can't wear the clothes they want but I think uh, also it's very very important to refine to have a refined really great result to be able to shape the abdomen, get rid of the love handles, uh, get a flat tummy with removing our fat. So we'll have a look at the techniques that I use for this number one. Um, I think as you can see in the picture here, it's pretty much what we do. We do the love handles to get you a better waist. We do all of the abdomen and then if there is any excess on the hips and inner thighs, we can actually do that also as part of the tummy tuck. Um, and when you're doing a lipo abdominoplasty, um, as opposed to when you're doing a uh, standard, there's really very minimal restriction as to how much fat you can remove, where you can remove it from. So it's a really, really great way of um, incorporating two different things into one operation. Now, as I've mentioned a couple of times before, we can actually use the fat um, as well uh to inject into the breast for example to give you a little bit of an enhancement there um, so it's a whole different way of doing it uh, and the last few years have been really exciting surgically because the results we can achieve are getting better and better every month really every year so um, i'm very excited about that and um, i think uh, when I see patients, I get really excited about giving a really great result. So, um, and I guess the other thing is, all operations do have risk, but uh, the risks are getting lower and lower every year as well as we tweak things, as we improve things, as we add things. So, that is also a really important point to make. Now, today we're going to have a look at the uh, liposuction. Um, we're going to have a look at the standard liposuction versus the uh, vaser liposculpture. So, uh, and I'm gonna go through why I like the vaser, why I use it for all my tummy tucks, um, and why I think, in my opinion, it's the best way of doing things. So, how is liposuction done? Um, now, let's see here. Um, now, Standard, so liposuction obviously there's removal of fat so it's got two steps in it the standard traditional liposuction which is still the most common way of doing it has two steps so one step is to 
put the local anesthetic solution in with the adrenaline. Now that is a really, really important step. And you have several different, you know, depending on how much fluid you got in, you got wet, super wet, tumescent type uh, liposuction. Now, when you're doing liposuction um, under sedation and local, you need a little bit more of the uh, liposuction fluid uh, to give you that anesthetic effect. Now, when you're doing liposuction, that's the first step. The other key thing is that when you're injecting this fluid into the tissues, it's got adrenaline. Adrenaline constricts the blood vessels and it's one of the biggest progresses in liposuction, probably, I don't know, 15 years ago when they were uh, working on liposuctions. Uh, and the early liposuction uh, procedures were done by a big, huge one centimeter curette cannula. It's pretty horrendous. Um, they were taking the fat and then they were basically transfusing you one unit of blood for every you, you know 500 mils of fat there and so it's pretty bloody surgery it's n not very good results lots of bruise lots of complications now um, there was a, a dermatologist that developed the uh, tumescent solution and showed that lignocaine could be put in in quite a high concentration in the tissues in addition to adrenaline now the adrenaline is a key thing to avoid bleeding during normal standard lipo and also any sort of lipo so the solution is really important so we put that in and it has to be even to so that we can see the even result of the uh, liposuction the second step um, is to do the actual suction of the fat now with standard liposuction and uh, hopefully at one of these live videos i'll show you an actual cannula what it looks like but a standard liposuction is like a metal cannula and you suck the f solid fat out now that's worked really great for many many years and i did that uh, my lipo abdominoplasty with a standard liposuction for almost a decade and it's worked really well for the for those tummy tucks um the the limitation is that you are sucking out solid fat so you're creating channels uh, that if you go too close to the skin surface, if you're doing standard liposuction, you do end up with grooves and problems with indentations and those sort of issues. So that's the limitation of the standard. Um, in addition to the fact that you are removing at high suction um, solid fat. So um, the key thing there is that the, that's what I like about the vaso, which I'll go through in the next section. So, if we have a look at the comparison of um, vaso versus uh, uh, standard. So, if you see the top bit, that's the standard. So that's the one we've been talking about. Um, um, with the standard, you're actually having quite a high suction on the um, liposuction cannula and you're removing solid fat, uh, which has those limitations that I mentioned. Now, the VASA, which I probably used uh, four or five years, something like that, um, has a different, it adds an additional step to the procedure. Now, the VASA probe is an ultrasound probe that basically vibrates at a really high frequency. You, you put the tumescent fluid in, same as the other procedure, then you use the vasoprobe to melt the fat. So the high frequency of the vasoprobe will melt the fat and make it into a liquid. Now, the, it has been shown that there's a couple of things that have been shown in research. It's first off, it gives better skin retraction. Second, it gives uh, a smoother result. So um, by melting the fat first you have a much more smooth way of removing the fat now when once you've uh, melted the fat you obviously still need to remove it uh, the the uh, high vibrations they spare the blood vessels they spare the nerves and they spare those internal structures that are really important for um, improving the appearance of of the skin so uh, as you can see here uh, nice and smooth and then after this probe, you still have to take the fat out. Now, when you take the fat out, um, you do it with lower suction. So it's, even though you're using a very similar uh, technique to um, the, the standard liposuction, you're actually using it at a lower suction. 
So that prevents you from damaging the tissue. It's all about being really, really delicate. Delicate is the key. Uh, and if you're rough with the tissues, you're going to end up with um, bruising, swelling, um, problems um, afterwards. Um, so uh, it's all about being a delicate uh, way of removing uh, the fat. So, um, and the more delicate I can be with the tissues, the less bruising, the le better shape, the quicker recovery we can get. So the vaser is just another way of making it a little bit more delicate, a little bit more gentle, uh, preserving more blood flow, um, preventing uh, bruising. Uh, so I like it. I've seen a big difference in, in my own practice. There are other surgeons that have done many, many tummy tucks and show that it's very, very safe to do it this way. There's a big study in the uh, Plastic Surgical Journal this year with Dr. Hoyas, who um, is uh, one of the guys that I've admired uh, doing. He's the guy that uh, came up with a high definition vaser liposculpture technique. And um, I've been following him for quite a long time. He's done a study in the, in the PRS, which is Plastic Surgical Journal uh, of 700 plus tummy tuck cases. Um, so I think uh, it's certainly a technique that is uh, progressing. Um, it's definitely state-of-the-art technique that I can see. Um, so um, now we've talked a lot about the technical side, which is fine, you know, that's <laughs> what I enjoy as a surgeon. But what is the benefit for you as a patient um, having this? Well, the key thing is that I can sculpt the tummy. So by doing that, obviously uh, I'm working on the shape, not just removing, so it's not just like a operation that just, just removes, removes skin and makes you still look um, not having a nice shape. It's actually a, all about shape, really. Uh, it's about defining your tummy, defining the waistline, um, improving the mons, um, and I think um, that is really where tummy tucks are heading to. It's really, as when they were starting, it's all about just removing the excess hanging skin and that's it. Uh, but um, these days, the, the bar is set much, much higher. It's not just about removing that excess skin, it's about removing the excess skin, tightening the muscles, providing a really shapely result. Um, and not just that, but providing it at a, uh, with a recovery that's really good, um, removing, not needing drains. So the bar is getting higher and higher each year. The bar is getting higher with more expectation of what we can achieve. So I think that's, that excites me because I'm excited that every single year it's getting better and better and better. Um, and I hope that that never stops because um, that is what excites me about giving my patients the best possible um, results and best possible sort of um, time attack that they can ever have. Now, uh, that's um, this little segment. Um, Tomorrow we're going to have a look at the technique number two. Um, at some stage, obviously, I'll try to put some before and afters and prepare some for you at some uh, at the live sessions. Make sure you are uh, asking questions. Um, and I also, because I've been doing these live shows, um, um, sort of ad hoc, just topic. I'll try to put a little bit of a schedule uh, together so that if you are interested in a certain topic, you can pick what you want to see and just join me at that stage. But certainly questions are always welcome. Um, so I'm just going to have a quick look and see if we have any questions and then I'll wrap up for today. So um, let's see. Cecilia. Cecilia has joined me and given me a thumbs up. Thank you, Cecilia. That's very, very, very nice. Thank you. Uh, and um, remember, I will try to do this 6.30 uh, each morning. If I'm in theaters, I'll do a shorter 
shorter um, session and just have a, uh, like five, five minutes or something like that just before I start theater. Um, and I think uh, from memory I'm in theater tomorrow so it will be a little bit of a shorter section. I may just um, do a couple of questions at that stage. And Vicky, thank you for your thumbs up as well. Um, so let's wrap up. Um, thank you for watching. Um, this will be much, much more interesting if you join me live and, and I will answer your questions uh, live as well. So um, make sure you, uh, I'm sure there's lots of uh, people getting up early uh, these days. So join me early morning at sunrise, watch the sun come up with me. This has been Dr. Bernard Beltholm. Thank you.